guidance. You see, the truth of the matter is that uh, the happiness of my daughter and the choice of her life partner is of utmost importance to me. Uh, you know she's the only child I have. But that does not translate to the fact that I will force upon her something that she does not want for herself in her life. To put it succinctly, my daughter has a young man with whom she's seriously in love. Mazi. Mazi. Uh, <laughs> Your Highness. Mazi, it would interest you to know that I have met man. In my lifetime, man of timber and caliber. Who have beautiful daughters. Kings of all the communities. Who have beautiful daughters. They all come here searching for my heart, doing all they can to lure me into bed. Some of them come bearing gifts, but I have fallen for your daughter, for I see her as the perfect queen. this kingdom. It baffles me why you have decided to be hard not to crack. Your Highness, I am sorry. Uh, uh, you can see my hands are tied. To tell myself the truth, because I will always tell myself the truth before telling another person. If I promise you that I am going to influence, let alone convincing my daughter, when it comes to economical matter, I am being economical with the truth. I see. You need to hear what my eyes saw today. What did your eyes see? I saw Igor Kaka and our king, the white lion, confronting themselves. <laughs> it's normal now for men to fear. It's not normal, though. With a gun. Egbe? Yes. No, our Igbo is not dead. It is today I knew that our Igbo is a very strong man. He has his supernatural power. Do you know that Igbo Kaka and his boys were shot at him? They shot at him, but he did not penetrate. Obaro. Obaro. Ah, hey! 
Yeah. I said it. You said what? I said it. Igwe Ikemba is a ritual. Hey! Don't even try it. Our king is a good man. Ah! I'm not disputing the fact that he's a good man. But use your common sense. Why does he bring millions of naira he shares everything? Ah! Stop saying this now. Eh? You know his late father owns big companies in London, Australia, Germany, and the other countries. Oh. What are you saying? It's funny. Yes, like. Did you see it with your eyes? I don't even know why I'm here to tell you, telling you the, the news I saw today. Nonsense. You did not see it. Hey, hey, please. Ah, where am I even going to? Don't be confused. I beg, sir. I, I cook though. If you want to eat, go I eat your food. You're still hungry. Why, why will you even come and be telling me such a news? They're a ritualist. My lord, I, I cannot, I cannot trade my love for Miriam. I, I, I love her so, I love her so much. She's priceless. Please, my lord. Please, spare me. I, I know you have the power to, to do whatever you want to do. I, and and I, I can't even do an, anything. But please, my lord, listen to, to your in a good mind. I am an orphan. A very poor one for that matter. Please, Miriamma is my love. She's my soul. She's all I have worked, labored, and lived for. Please, my lord, I, I, I don't want you to, to get angry at my choice of words, please. Please, my lord. I'll offer you another hundred million naira. Please, do not put me to test. Please, don't put me to test. I love me, real my head. I, I can leave her. Please, I. I can't. I can't leave her. Please, my lord. Help 
continue to bestow on me the wisdom required of a king. Help me. Miruma, we are here with this khaki on behalf of the king and the entire people of Oboroma Kingdom. We are begging you, please accept the khaki and have a change of mind. Our king is a good man. He, he deserves a good woman. He deserves the best. He deserves an intelligent woman, decent woman, like you, Miroma. Please. He has never been this emotional. Kindly accept. Do not say no to this. Because if you do, it will affect his heart. And he could go down. I know what I'm saying. Please. Uh, please. Please. We are begging you. Don't turn this our demand. Don't turn it down. Please. 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 Oh? Please. Miriam. Miroma. The true beauty of her mother. The eyes of an angel. The queen herself. The goddess of beauty. You have come to the point of making the entire people of this kingdom proud, happy and joyful that they have found their way. Be the special gift to our king. Because you are a special person. My daughter, I want you to follow your heart. In whatever choice you make, you know I will always stand by your side. That's all. I will not marry the king. <coughs> Obina. He's the love of my life. I promise. To love you for the rest of my life. I promise. I swear, I promise. I know you will never trade our love for anything. I believe you. I I trust you. I rejected the money he gave to me to leave you. God will never leave you. I will stand by you till the end of time. I love you. You're my lover. You're my darling. 
My love for you is not for sale. Come up with love. Come up with love. You're my lover. Well, she has made her choice. It's as clear as the daylight. Nothing any of us can do about it. Your Majesty, uh, this is so disappointing. It is unfortunate she rejected to be your queen. Hi. How will someone reject such a love? This is unheard of. Unbelievable. History this, has been made. This is really strange. Poor people with pride. <laughs> <coughs> they call it dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> somebody, somebody hurt. Somebody hurt. Somebody hurt. Your Majesty. Yo, yo, what am I hearing in my ear? Don't hear nonsense. Do you understand me? Utenku must not hear nonsense. What? 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 What am I hearing? My own Igwe. The white lion sick on the bed. So what happens? <laughs> Otenku, what happens to your allowance? Allowance? I know what has happened. It is the mach evil machination of those red cow chiefs. Oh, you think you can get me? You can never get me. You red cow chiefs. If you got, if you got Otenku, you are above them. You are above them. Oh, they want to take away the king. My baby, a baby I carried in my hands. They want to take him away from me. Oh, mommy. Never! You will have me to contend with. None of you will see my back. Over my dead body will I allow my Ikemba to go just like that. Odenko will deal with all of you. All, all of you. Moa. Igwe Ikemba, get up. I am coming as your doctor to save you. The king, our king, has a kidney failure. Hey! Hey! This is terrible. So terrible and so serious that both kidneys were affected. Jerry, you are lying. You are a liar. You want to continue? Will you shut up? And who asked you to be here? Ngiwa! Evil man! They are telling me to shut up! That is okay. <laughs> Enough! It's okay now. And why will he say the doctor is lying? Is he a doctor? Is he a physician? A drunken idiotic man like you. Eh, hey, you call me drunken idiotic. It is that your son that our Igwe sent abroad. After removing him from jail, that it's idiotic. He is stupid. He's drunken. He's drunkard. He's drunken and drunken idiotic. Do, do you know enough? I said enough. What is wrong with both of you? Warn him. In a situation like this. Warn him. Can you imagine? Uh, please, doctor. Ignore all this. No problem. Um, uh, which way forward, please? What do we do? How do we, how do we rescue our king? He must not die. Exactly, that's what I'm here. At this point, what do we do? Uh, what we need to do, we need a donor. <sighs> donor. Doctor. Uh, doctor, what do you mean by we need a donor? It simply means that we need somebody from this kingdom to donate his kidney. That's what we need, so that we can save the life of our king. Um, um, doctor, just please, eh? cut it down. Wali godia, wali eka, I got because I got that sort of me. There is no other way I'm going to explain it, except this one I've explained right now. What we need is kidney transplant. We need somebody to come up, whether it's a female or a man, to come up, so that we can 
a certain yeah, medical uh, hospital. Yeah, yeah. Here I am. Take my look. There's one kidney here. There's kidney here. Remove everything. Take every part of my body. Let my lion, white lion, be alive. You understand me, doctor? Take every kidney. Wherever you see them, just take them away. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's okay. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Uh, please, doctor. Ignore all this, like I said earlier. No problem. We are not going to take Otenko's kidney. He's drunk in kidney. No. For what? Look, look, the pertinent question here is, what are we going to do? Let us get somebody, or let, let, let somebody volunteer. That's the best way to be instead of this second I have volunteered my kidney. What else do you want, doctor? Shut up. Maybe see, kid, take this kidney away. Allow him. If he says he wants to donate his kidney, let him go ahead. That might even kill our ego faster. Let him go ahead. Uh, uh, please, doctor. Uh, one more time, I plead. Please ignore all this. No problem. Um, we will get back to you with time. Uh, allow us some time to sort out things. And uh, we have we have children. We have people. We have sons and daughters who can donate kidneys, even any other part of the body. So uh, uh, give us some time to. Um, sort things out and get back to you. Thank you, my elders. Doctor, their you. evil plan will not work. Come and remove this kidney. Remove everything. This man, shut up! Remove the whole kidney. What is your problem? Hey, you are not serious. I can't be more serious than this, Akoma. Our Igwe seriously needs a kidney donor at the moment. He is dying, to put it more succinctly. No, 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 no. Someone, especially the youth, they have to swing into action immediately. Hmm? More importantly, those ones that he helped to better their lives. This is the time for them to save our king from the cold hands of death. Well, uh, Onowu says that he will summon an emergency meeting to that effect. Mm -hmm. okay. You see? Uh, meanwhile, I actually excused myself to come and catch some breath. Eh? So if there is something comestible, please get me to eat. Just say something to eat. All this your big, big grammar. Oh, okay. Comestible. Oh, oh, it's just the same thing. Eh. Comestible and eatable. Please do the one. You want. Is it beans you want or uh, swallow? What Anything you, you give me, even if it is poison. No, I will not poison my husband. <laughs> And then go and do it and pronto. I mean immediately. Oh, uh, oh. Hey. Mm. Uh, well, well, all these hesitations are in the, in the, in the face of emergency. Ah, so tell me, when did you return home? I came back last night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's nice. So you came back for the village festival? Yes, yeah, so look at you. You're not looking bad at all. You're not looking bad too. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine me. I now own two plots of land in the city. You serious? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. God has used the great white lion to bless all of us. I'm, I'm telling doing you. well too and you're doing well. Hmm. I'm happy to hear that. I'm forever indebted to our king. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, um, before we answer um, the elder's call, can we just hang out somewhere, you know, maybe take one or two bottles, talk more about each other before we go answer them. Of course, I'm free. Okay? You're good? <laughs> yeah, I'm So free. let me open the door for you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Is this not is this not funny? <laughs> is See, it not funny? Let none of our sons or daughters attend that meeting. Yes? For what? Ha! My son just returned from the city for the festival. I will stage him not to come out at all. Better. Ah! My son cannot be a donor so that they will leave only one kidney for him. Oh. Hey, that cannot happen. Okay. Even me, Ichi Ojiofo. Assuming I have three kidneys, I cannot donate one, one for him. If he likes to die, let him die. Don, donate him. what? Kidney. 
the network. Kidney. me. Listen. I have instructed my children to remain in the city. Uh -huh. They should not come to this side. As a matter of fact, they should not entertain any news from this side at all at all. Okay. When he was busy eating junks, did you not know that he will have kidney failure? Uh, yeah. Imagine. Imagine, oh. imagine oh. that. They are hitting gong uh, by a youth shall gather so that somebody should donate kidney for Igwe. Uh, if you want to die, let him die. Instead of him to be eating or her. Uh, oh. Oh. Babe, two bags of rice? That's too much. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not too much. For your sake. Nothing is too much. Come on, this is too much. How many people are going to finish two bags of rice? You know, two... Oh, honey, for your sake, okay? <laughs> Nothing. Jesus. Chisara. Hey, Mioma. Ah, mm. Chisara, uh, what is it? Hey! Mioma. Igwe Ikemba collapsed during a meeting in the palace. What? Yes. Collapsed? How? The doctor diagnosed him of kidney failure. Oh my god. His kidney is badly damaged. Hey. But how? Why? What happened? The elders are looking for a kidney donor. As I'm talking to you right now, the villagers has asked their sons and daughters not to come back to the kingdom for now. Hmm. This situation is high as a high tension. Mm. But why? Why would they do that? Are hmm. you sure? Even my uncle has asked his son to leave the village immediately. His son that Igwe Kemba sponsored his business with 5 million naira. And he has no option than to obey his father. As I'm speaking to you right now, he has left the village. That's too bad. That's too bad. A kidney donor. Hey! Oh my God! My husband! This is not true! Unfortunately, it is true. You see, all the youths, all of them, they denied us a help. What is one person? What is this? Not single person, not one. Eh? You see, this world, this world we are living in, it is good for one to fall sick. Sometimes, so that you know who is who. Hey, eh? people are very, very ungrateful. All right, I thought by the time I'll get to that very palace, I will see a crowd of people pushing each other. Eh? Men, women, old, young, trying to donate their their, their kidneys to their Igwe because of his denovelence. But you know what? The reverse was the case. So, Papa, what are they going to do now? Are they going to fly him abroad? Miriam, my daughter, the Onoru said that we should wait a bit to see whether there will be a youth, at least one youth, who will come as a result of second thought to come and donate his kidney so, so as to save the life of Igwe. This is unbelievable. So not even from our neighboring kingdom. Are they not aware? All the people he touched their lives one way or the other, none could donate his kidney. Hi. Everyone is scared. And in fact, some of them are not even interested. But I saw Otenko crying and lamenting that he wants to donate his kidney, if possible, all his body parts. But they refused him. Honey, let's talk of people that matter. Eh? 
Temp, even if he has succeeded in giving his uh, kidney award, it will have been detrimental to the health of the king. A drunkard like him, his kidney must have been, uh, you know, riddled with uh, kidney sclerosis because of uh, too much of alcohol. Huh? We are talking about the youth here. The youth who have benefited from the benevolence of the white lion himself. Eh? The Igwe has flown most of them to various parts of the globe to, 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 to better their lives. Eh? Most of them wouldn't have had the opportunity of seeing the, 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 the wheel of an aircraft, let alone entering inside it. Yet he did it for them. And I was even surprised that they did not mention it even in the village was a platform. Oh. It is that bad. What a kingdom. <laughs> sad. So, so sad. My darling. <laughs> I remember telling you that no one in your kingdom cares about you. But you never believed me. You didn't. <laughs> so sorry about my manners. <laughs> I remember telling you that Miriam will never sacrifice her life for you also. Neither will I, my darling. <laughs> King Ikemba, you are dying slowly. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. Watch. You are ready to sacrifice your life for the king. What do you mean by you can't? I said I can't donate my kidney. And please, don't ask me such stupid questions again. <laughs> you can't you do it? Ah, can you imagine? Why are you even attacking her? Ah! Eh? I never said, I never said I was going to die for a king. Mm. She was the one chanting and saying that she, she, she wished to sacrifice her life. She wished to prove her love for the king. Now we need a kidney donor. You've suddenly gone mute. You are mad. I don't blame you. Oh, you want me to go and die? Excuse me. Wait, oh. She, she was the one that said she wanted to sacrifice her life for the king. Oh, you think it's by cleaning his chambers? Idiot. But oh, wait, oh. The youth of this village baffles me. So not even one beneficiary could come out to donate his or her kidney for the king. This is strange. This, this, this is not good. Huh. This is not good. This is strange. Did you see the kind of cars they came in here My with? My sister is so... Showing enough cars to tell us that they've made it in life. Huh? Ah. Hey. Oh, wow. Life no balance. Oh. At all, my sister. No balance at all. Helping human being. A scam. Big scam. Scam! Who <laughs> be lying? Hello? What are you with? I should donate my kidney? No! Did I hear you correctly? Oh no. Why are you forcing people to donate? And why are you even forcing her to donate her kidney? What happened to your own kidney? Or oh, don't you have kidney? Is it not good for donation as well? Tell me! Well, I, 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 listen. Let the chairman listen to me. No more, I can get her. I have every right to bark like a mad dog, but that's not the issue. 
No one is asking you to donate your own kidney. No. All we are asking you to do is to use your personality, pave the way, carry us along, reach out to at least our children, at least those that have benefited from Ikemba's care initiative. That is what we are saying. That is just what we are saying. Oh no. With all due respect, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Then I will revoke your position in this palace. Whatever right you have here, I will revoke it. I will do that. You can't do that. I can do that. Oh no, you cannot do that. I, the Prime Minister of this kingdom, can do that. I am the chair lady. And you have no right, no position that gave you the right to seize our oppression. You cannot do that. I can do that. Oh no, hold on. I, I don't understand what is going on here. Why do I have this feeling that we are faced with a difficult prospect of helping our own? The almighty king you all profess. A man you say you loved. At this critical time, nobody is willing to donate. Let me just make it very clear to everybody, in case if you are too blind to see. If within one week nothing is done, the king will die. From the medical point of view, even if, by, by any way, by the grace of God, the king makes it in a week time, I am not sure the king is going to make it in the upper week. And all of us are seated here arguing over how to help a man that we claim we love so much. You know who is one side arguing? The ladies one side arguing. What is going on? Where are we finding the body? No use. Oh no, I am asking you. No use. I begged my sons. I begged, I begged, I begged. They refused. I told them it's just a kidney. It wouldn't kill. None of them agreed. Okay, bring money. Let us look for a donor. They refused. Chai, hey, is this how our ego will die? But no. Do you know that since I brought this issue up in my family, my children stopped talking to me. They stopped picking my calls. All of them. Oh no, I understand how you feel. And I would want you to calm down. You are a man. You need to, you need to calm down. Doctor, doctor, uh, you, you won't understand. Uh, uh, can you please take mine? <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. You're weak. You can't just possibly take your, your own kidney. It's not possible. Uh, do anything possible, anything you can, to save the life of my king, please. Please. I... I, I... This, this is out of it, please. I understand, I understand. We are doing everything possible. We are trying our best to see how we can fly him out of this country. The only constraint we have is that there is no time. And that is what I'm saying. Everybody, they have all deserted the king. Everyone has run away. Even the chiefs, all the chairs. Deserted our king. Please, do whatever you can, please. Can you take my own kidney and save my king? Like I said before, it's not possible for us to do that. But I will want you to take things easy. <laughs> Doctor, it is not possible to calm down when you cannot calm down. Understand it? I, I do. P please. No. No, people will laugh at us. You don't, you don't need to begin to consider what people will say. Because even if you do the right thing or the wrong thing, people will still laugh at no, you. No, no, no. Okaka, to be the king of this kingdom? No. No. Doctor, no. People should not laugh at us. Please do the best you can. Save my king. We'll try our best. Calm down. Doctor, doctor, please. Find a way to adjust the system. Take my kidney, please. Just calm down. 
Doctor, take my kidney. I, I understand the curiosity. Just calm down. You, you won't understand. I do. It is not possible to calm down when you cannot calm down, Doctor. That, that's uh, what I'm saying. No, no. Why is Lai not going? We need to seal up this deal tonight. Father, why did you do it? What I do or did not do is not subject to be questioned by you. Why did you have to go this far? Hmm? Is it for the money? Power? Or for the fact that there is a man whose will you cannot bear? If you cannot suffer this victory with me, then you shut up. I need to know why you did that to King Ikemba. He is going to die. You are my father. I need to know why the man that betted me is so evil. Evil! Father, please, tell me. I need to know. At this moment, you don't speak to your father. You speak to your king. And do you dare question your king? Get out of my room before I lose my temper! Get out! Your friend and king is dying. You left him to die. I thought you loved him. My king will not die. And yes, I love him. And you can't change that fact. So, why are you scared? Go and see him. You know you are going to die. You are scared of death. Huh? I will not die. No, my darling, you will die. You will die. Because I know that you have just one kidney. One. Oh! You are surprised on how I got to know. I am a wealthy princess. If I snap my finger like this, every information I want concerning anyone will fall begging at my feet. <laughs> Obina here gave you one of his kidney and saved you from death. Hmm? And that is why you love him so much to the point of not listening to all the love words and feelings of your king. <laughs> hmm. I thought as much. I asked myself, who is this woman that will reject a handsome, intelligent, rich, and famous king, like King Ikemba. <laughs> I must confess, it has been such a long time. I've not seen a woman that has such courage, such determination towards her man. Kudos to you, my darling. You and not a cheat. You have to leave now, princess. 
<laughs> Your wedding is in two days. Congratulations. My Lord, Igwe, be strong. You are the white lion, the Gaji Ejemba. I see the girl around go be near Jemuyan Hewe. You cannot bow out this way. For if you do, the vulnerable animals will fear for their lives. Makana we is an hateful number. Okay, get a GC and Yoko. Dick Jan, you see. Be brave. Be strong. Keep breathing. But if your spirit, your soul becomes weak and weary, then I may not have any choice than to do the needful. Makona bundu di abia wa hando kanga ba kaya. I will have no choice than to do the needful. Hmm. My fellow elders, I greet you all. Our people say, a stitch in time saves now. It is only when you actually don't know what you are doing. That is when what you don't know how to do will elude you. I want to announce to all of us here without <clears throat> wasting our time. We, the elders, representing the three villages of Obodoma, I have agreed without missing words to a throne chief Agu here as our next Igwe after the demise of the white lion. <laughs> ah, but you know, how dare you open your mouth and vomit that load of rubbish? When cabinet member like me have not even thought of that. The truth of the matter here is that you don't even have any authority whatsoever to change what we have decided in this palace. Amazon. You are just an auxiliary cabinet member. Have you forgotten that? You called who an auxiliary cabinet member? How dare you? How dare you call me an auxiliary cabinet member? You are an auxiliary cabinet member. Uh -huh. You are the down. one. If I should be afraid of uh -huh. animals with horns, uh -huh. let me you now. Shut up. Let me walk on now. Enough. Enough. Enough of this. I will dislocate your jaw. You Sit cannot. Down. Sit down. Sit down. Why are you doing this? Huh? Are you kids? The Igwe is dying. Jacketing inside the chambers on his sick bed, and you all are here huffing and puffing. 
Is that how you do your meeting here in the palace? Eh? I mean, that, that's quite preposterous. Here we should be talking about the solution. Not even about trying to enthrone another Igwe. One of our local pro, uh, uh, proverbs, he says that uh, 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 a tree should not still be alive and people start talking about harvesting mushroom on its trunk. Yes. That is bad. I take an exception to that. So let everybody behave in herself. Look, you are not even a cabinet member. Uh -huh. So you have to keep quiet and listen. Our Igwe is dying, according to his doctor. Yes. Like I said earlier, we have agreed to enthrone Chief Akuhir as our next Igwe after the demise of the West Line. Excuse me, Mr. Cabinet Member. Assuming our Igwe did not kick the bucket at the end of the day, what will you do? Will you resort to euthanasia? I mean, mercy killing? To enthrone a king for this kingdom. Not even when our king is still alive. Oh. You are interested in our oil. That is why you are doing all these things. You would have come out open now. I kept quiet because I am not the kind of person that barks like a mad dog. Not me. Betrayal. I remember what my father told me in those old good days. That no na boko sisi daluana wanye feyenu. Unfortunately, that is true. When a mighty tree falls, a woman crosses the tree fearlessly. Are you trying to tell me that both of you will have the God to rise and face each other, talk back at each other, almost wanting to fight each other? If the king, if the king, if the white lion is strong and standing or sitting on his throne, can you do that? Hi. You are staring at me. Betrayal. Can you do that? You cannot, of course. Betrayal. It's quite unfortunate for both of you. However, I, as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom, hereby declare this meeting baseless, useless, nonsense, Mbalo. and closed. Mbalo, no, 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 we cannot have it. with all due respect. You cannot do that. In fact, you can't even say that. The Council of Iches have elected me as their next Igwe. Sure. Instead of thinking of how to crown me as the next king, you, you are here doing all this. In fact, if you don't want to crown me, Igwe Okaka will do that. I am the Prime Minister of this kingdom, the Kingmaker. Oh. And I have said it. This meeting, as far as I'm concerned, as far as Obodoma Kingdom is concerned, is baseless, useless, and nonsense. Oh, oh I see. You want to be crowned the king so you can now come for our oil and sand. You. Oh. And I talk about heavy in Edelweir. Betrayal. This sort of meeting will never repeat itself. Onomu is a very stupid, hopeless, huh? and useless human being. Just imagine. I don't blame him because he's as short as Pitapula. If not, if not, why will you know who disagree with our decision that Chief Apple should become the next Igwe? Eh? Who is contending that? Who? Oh no, who cannot? None of the Igwe and council members can. Eh? But whether they like it or not, Chief Ako is going to become a Igwe. And none of them can do anything about it. Oh no, he's a very stupid man and he knows it, of course. Why are you even bothering yourselves? Chief Aku is going to be our next Igwe. Sure. All we need to do now is pray so that the Igwe dies immediately. 
Ah. Thereafter, we install Chief Ako as our next Igwe. Ah. Simple as that. As for Ikemba, we don't need to pray about him. He's going to die either this night or tomorrow morning. He will become a devil. <laughs> the stupid or no, what he has failed to know is that once Chief Ako becomes our next king, yes. windows of Prosperity open to our our com our yes, community. Exactly. A lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities we call. Yeah. I look at him walking walking like walking like tortoises. Who mind. is he? Don't mind. As a matter of fact, just not uh, it is not between us and, and him. Oh yes. If he thinks that some people because he has is it because he has the opportunity of becoming the know and the truth is hey, once she far comes the the the, the, the Igwe, Igwe, yes. eh, we have we have windows. Of This money is from Shifako. <laughs> he said he's very glad that the three of us, the three important men, yes. I mean, the three wise men of this great kingdom are on his side. <laughs> exactly. We are solidly behind him. <laughs> you know, Igwe Kimba is dead. Or do I say he's almost dead? Ah, he will soon die. And custom demands that when an Igwe is packing up to join his ancestors, yes. someone should be warming up. Exactly. We must crown Shifako. That's it. Imagine a king in this modern era. Uh -huh. Just how can he reject the beautiful offer from Igwe Okaka? I imagine. Then that means he does not want our kingdom to be recognized as one of the oil producing kingdoms. Of course, that's it. He wants to deny us of the good benefits that will come from the government. And that is the more reason we should fight hard, push hard for us to achieve this project. My elders, I greet you. You are welcome. This is my take on the matter. Before I, the youth leader of this kingdom will mobilize youths to converse for Chifaku to become the next king of this great kingdom. He will have to give us a sum of 3 million naira and also sign that the money that will be gotten from the oil will not only go to his pocket. Rather, each and every one of us here will benefit from it. You have spoken wisely. This is a very good recommendation you have just made. Thank you. <laughs> uh, My youth leader, you have spoken well. Course. You have nothing to fear. Hmm? Everyone, I repeat, everyone will be adequately taken care of, especially those within the inner caucus that are pushing <laughs> Eh? Yes. Pushing and fighting for the success of this project. That's good to hear. The lion, the light that shines so bright amongst his people, the river that never dries. Yes, you are the Lord, you are the King, you are everything your people see in a ruler. But you must remember, behind every progressive man, there is a beautiful woman. Behind every progressive man, there should be a wise and accommodating woman. You are beginning to hate my people.
too much. Julie, I ask you today, what have my people done to you? I never hated your people or hate your people. They are my people as well. I am the first lady in this kingdom as far as leadership is concerned. All I am telling you is for you to be careful with these people. You have to be careful with these men for they are like ungrateful Jews in the land. Well, be their Jesus, they will still crucify you. I wouldn't want my Lord to feed these vipers that will still stink you tomorrow. You are the viper. You are the viper. Juliana, anyone who tries to come between me and the love I have for my people is a snake. You are the viper. Well, I see a dark future looming. I see these people craving, striving, and praying so hard for you to be pulled out. I am the white lion. I am Igwe Ikemba. I am indestructible. Juliana, today I bring an end to this union. For you are not qualified to be the queen of this kingdom. I beg your pardon. You are going to be hearing from my lawyers. Get your things together and leave the palace at once. Oh my gosh! Tender, just like a seed that grew and blossomed into a beautiful love story. I know you don't want to see me cry or say some hurtful words. You have always been my friend. You have always been my love. You have always been my everything. The lion that shields my heart with boldness and confidence. I will never let you turn your face from your people. I will always pray for you. I will continue to pray that your people don't turn their faces against you when you need them most. I care so much. 
much about you. I will always be there for you. Whether you call me or not. May you reign forever. My Lord. My hero, the white lion. Majesty. The office of the First Lady of this Kingdom, the Queen of Obodoma, is hereby closed indefinitely. Uh, uh, your Majesty. Oh no, I am not going to dwell on this matter. Please. I'm sorry, so sorry, Your Majesty. Is that okay? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. They leave their imprints on the sands of time. They are the pillars and lifters of all the men. Deacon, the white lion, your authors and more. The world needs you now more than ever. We all miss you, our great stallion. We all can't wait to have you back on your feet again. We love you. I No. Why we are here tonight is to let you know 
that if anything happens to our king, if we look for our king, we don't see him. Maybe he joins his ancestors untimely. We will then submit your name to Ezemu as our next king. Okay, yeah. Haibia. Um, oh no, let me say it outrightly to the hearing of everybody here now that I have no interest at all for becoming the next Igwe of this kingdom. And as a matter of fact, I am praying fervently for the quick recovery of my Igwe. Believe me when I say this, that I have a very strong faith that Igwe Kemba is not going to die. If he dies, means I'm going to abdicate my religion. My dear brother, do not talk like that. We are only but a passing phase in this cruel world. Everybody, I mean everybody, we answer the Creator at the appointed time through either illness or sudden death. So, what I am telling you now is that amongst all the mortals in this kingdom, you are the only one that we have found to be honest. This is what I want you to know right now. I am not ready to take up that task. And he will come back. It's not going to die. One does not boil hot water, believing he will fall down from a tree. So, my brother, we should not decide for the gods. But I have always said it with confidence that that good man is not going to die. We are all confused. Yes. But we have to relax our minds, pray, make sacrifices, and continue seeking for solution. The palace may be divided, but it's my prayer that that doesn't lead to anarchy. Um, Mazio Noah, yes, we can always say anything we feel like saying, but the truth naturally remains what it is. Let me tell you this Ichi Okeke and others came out so plainly for us to understand that they truly are the flies that perch under the school tree. Yes. Hmm? Yes. But I tell you, naturally and chemically, they will pay for all their deeds. Definitely. I, the Unu of this kingdom, we not watch Ichiaku become the king of this land. Eh eh. It does not happen. It is not possible. The Aku in question is so close a friend to Igwe Okaka, remember? And it is a pre planned arrangement to bring Aku as the king of this land so that he can defile our land and grant an opportunity for Igbo Kaka to become a force, a strong force over us in this kingdom, which is not possible. My elders and husbands, please do not relent in striving for peace. Yes. For the sake of our children and posterity, That's I why. beg of you. 
Um, that's exactly what we are doing. And I don't think uh, there will be war. No, there won't don't. be any problem. No, at, all. Good. at the end, I believe the wheat will be separated from the chaff. Mm. That's yes. one thing I know. Thank you. Thank you for your pacifist stand. And again, and again, I believe the good man is not going to go down. You have been told not to dictate for the gods, for you are not the gods. The gods see, Father, they know it's better. Many wish him dead. The Igwe is still tossing and turning on his sick bed inside his chambers, while the chairs are busy planning for his replacement. Simply because the doctor says that there is no hope. Eh? This is the zenith of insensitivity I've ever seen. Going to three days now. Three days. No single person has come up to them in this. No donor at all. None. Hey! This is how they want this good man to die. People are wicked though. All the people that have benefited from this man. They've all run away. Hmm? People are so wicked and heartless. Hey! That's the world for you. I mean, that's why a good king or even a good man should not expect a reciprocation for his uh, uh, benevolence from people. I mean, th th that is heartbreaking. But then what can we do? Nothing. Eh? You will try to clothe them with kindness and love. Then they will tear the cloth and tell you to your face that you are trying to kill them. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Where, where are you going? Where, 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 where are you going? Where are you going by this time of the night? I'm asking you. I am going to give the king my kidney. What? Madness. You have only one. My only child. Hey, I want to do what you, you want to kill us. You won't do it. No, you cannot do it. Miroma, I will give my king my only kidney. No, you are king. If I die, I die. Hey, hey! Do, do, do you think about us? Miroma, come here. This is this child. Is this child? Is this child? I don't know what I, has come up over this very girl. You didn't bring her back. I couldn't catch up with her. She was running like the wind. I don't know what has come over this sharp. Are you sure she's not possessed? I don't know what has come, up, come over her. What does she want us to do in a time like this? This time of the night, we have to be looking for her now. Just one kidney. 
why am I repeating these lines to you over and over again, my dear friend? Will you die for him? Will you? Nah, 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 nah. Because, my darling, your wedding is very close. But hold on. How can you be alive and watch your king die very slowly? Slowly and painful. You are weak and helpless. Just like your friend and every other person in this kingdom. You're not my princess. If I must say, you are infringing. My dear lecturer, go and save the king. Your king. <laughs> or die for him so that your man can marry a beauty like me or any other woman my dear I challenge you I challenge you to die for the king die for the white Lion. <laughs> hmm. Again. Don't listen to that princess. Don't listen to her. Mima, she's a loser. A very big one at that. Mima, please, I am begging you. I am pleading as your friend. Don't listen to her, please. <laughs> you, you have you have to force it to live and stay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so funny, honestly. It's so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. You know? <laughs> Who knows where the young man will be by now? Mm -hmm. I think I need my <laughs> Let me laugh, let me Let me laugh, laugh. I tell myself. I don't want to give. I don't drink. I don't want to give. It's not my fault. You must drink. I don't, I don't want to give. Let me have my You want to sit here? You want to sit here? You think, you think you're all <laughs> <laughs> Going nowhere. What do you mean to do now? Do you have to carry me because I'm How tired? How can I carry you? I can't carry you with my back. Right. Romantic carrying. Oh, okay. Come on. I keep romantic. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Look at you. <laughs> Alright, fine. Don't worry. Let me do it up. Yo, you're my angel, you're my darling angel. I will clean you up. You're my darling angel. I will clean you up. You will never get it. <laughs> okay, now you don't want to back me. Can I carry you? Yes. And what if I can't carry you? Carry me! Well, what if I can't do it? Alright, let's see. Mm. Jump. Ah, I look at that. You're so light. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to throw you. 
Ah, I'll throw you off now. If you don't. Come. This is not the hall. Why did she fall that way? What is the meaning of this dream? I hope all is well with her. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, uh, nothing will happen to you, Your Majesty. Nothing. I know. I'm in so much pain. Nothing will happen to you, Your Majesty. You will live long. Please. Take my kidney and save my king. Please, Doctor. Oh no. Please. Doctor, please do it now. Please, Doctor. Doctor, please. Take my only kidney and save my king. I beg you. Do it now, Doctor. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> You will not die, my king. Please hang in there. Hang on, my king. Instead of you to die, I would rather die. <laughs> Rather die than let you go. Don't go, my king. Please. Don't go anywhere. Let me go instead, please. I beg you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Don't. Madam, are you coming? Yes. Are you the taxi driver? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Um, I'm going to Obodama Kingdom. Obodama, Obodama, Obodama. Okay. 3,000 naira, ma'am. 3,000? Okay, yes. that's too much now. Ha! <laughs> okay, I'll pay you one five. Ah, uh, one five too small, though. For this economy now, for this country. Ha! Uh, a little of fuel. How much for a little of fuel? If I never let us buy. Okay, make it not be so again too much. You don't call me, you don't call me. Um, 2,500 now. That's ah, 2,500 is too much. Okay, let's do 2,000. Huh. Auntie, no vest. Okay, 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 just hold on. Madam, are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, ma'am.
daughter said that she would be coming back since yesterday. But up till now, she's not here. Hmm. Let's be patient. She will be here. I know, I know. I have the faith that she must come. Patient? Her line suddenly went off. She can't be reached. Ah, I am beginning to be worried though. Eh? You know she complained about her health issues all through last week. I am worried. I am more. Uh, like I said, let us wait. Let's be patient. We will not know exactly what the problem is all about until she gets here. It's this hmm? one that one cannot reach out before. That is why I'm so worried. Oh, please, don't walk up yourself. Eh? Don't raise your blood pressure unnecessarily. She will be here. Okay? Oh, oh. Who is it? Is it Miro Mao? Our daughter. Hey! It's our daughter. It's our daughter. Oh, my God. Minim. Our daughter. Hey, eh, uh, our daughter. Eh? Minim. What is wrong? Uh, what is wrong with her? I what is wrong? Know. I don't know. Minim. You can't make it. What is wrong with you? You can't make it. What? Can't make what? Eh? Don't say that again. You can make it. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Jesus. Hey! What? What, is what is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Come on. Let's, let's get what? Hey, 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 Hey, on your phone, I just see you go. Eh? The remaining child. Minoma, don't do this thing to me. Hey, hey, Nigel, where do I end? Hey, hey, enter, enter. Hey, go on, enter now. Hey, oh my God. Hey. Please, the only one help us. She um, must not die. Um, madam, madam, calm down, okay? Calm down. Okay. Like I said, we need a donor now. Her kidneys are bad, really bad. We need at least one kidney to save her life. Hey! Uh, doctor. Are you saying that if we don't get a donor, that she may likely die? <sighs> well, yes. <laughs> the bitter truth there is that if we don't get a donor now, I'm afraid <laughs> we may lose her. Um, doctor, you, you earlier told us that uh, both her kidneys are bad. Then on a second breath, you told us that uh, if we can see one, one kidney that it can sustain her, I'm confused. My question is, uh, can that one kidney sustain her uh, uh, physiological activities for the rest of her life? Yes, sir. That is if it's gotten from a healthy person and well managed. Can we get that too? It's okay. 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 You mean she don't have any relative or anyone who could be of help at this point in time? No one, my son. I have tried. We don't have a close relative, not even one consanguineous relative. Eh? We don't have money. 
to fly her abroad eh? or even to secure a kidney transplant. Eh? I'm just lonely, helpless in this wicked world. That was exactly how I lost my two, two hefty shots. Eh? Two sons? Yes, two sons. Just like that. Eh? Fate is not being fair to me at all. I don't know why. I don't know why. Eh? I, I believe nothing will happen to her. Amen. Amen. Oh, I want to encourage both of you to be strong. Let's trust the God of 11th hour, the God of every impossibility. He has never failed before. And I believe he will never fail at this point in time because he's the God of every impossibility. Let's believe in him. Let's trust in him. He will do it at his own time. It's all right, my son. It's all right. Go about your normal business. On our part, we have we have to, to. I'm just confused. I'm confused. Sir, you don't need to be confused. I'm confused. Sir, Fine. please. Finally. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be. You have to be strong. You are the man of the house. If not for anything, you have to be strong for your wife, please. Third year in the university. Third year in the university. All our efforts. Would that be then? My God, God gone down the drain. All the effort gone down the drain, just like that. Mama, calm down. Eh? Mm. Just calm down. Don't do this and increase your BP, please. See, so I have strong faith in God that Miriamma is going to be fine. I believe in God Almighty. See, Mama, hey. this is just a phase, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you saved me from the cold hands of death. I will never wish an enemy to go through what I went through. It was a hell of pain for me. I saw my dead brothers even fighting for me to go back to our poor and helpless parents. When I woke up from the hospital bed, I felt no pain, all the pain, all gone. I felt light like a newborn baby. Then I saw you. All I could remember was the taxi driver who dropped me at my father's. And I broke down into tears when my father told me you gave your kidney for me to live again. Miriamma. I will be with you till eternity. You are the gold, silver, and diamond in everything in this world. I can't stop thanking you enough for this kindness. And I will not trade your love for anything in this world. Because you're priceless. I believe God brought us together for a purpose. You know, I am happy. I'm happy that I saved a dying soul. I was scared that very day. But God gave me a second chance. Can I believe He gave me a second chance? So that you and I will be happy together forever. I love you. I 
love you more than you love me. Doctor, what are we waiting for? Doctor, there is no time. I beg you, please, doctor. Doctor, take my kitty and save my king. I beg you. Doctor, there is no time. Please, oh, no. I heard of the king's illness. That's why I am here. I am here to save a life. The life of a good man. They say the good ones die young, but not this one. Doctor, please take my kidney and save the life of the best king. I know. <laughs> Is that not the sound of the Ugeni that announces the death of Igwe? Now, is the Igwe dead? No, not, no, that's not the sound of the real Ugeni that actually announces the exit of Igwe. Huh? But even at that, something might have gone wrong somewhere. By the way, where do you say our daughter went? Minioma? Huh? Where is this, is this, this chap? I said it. Huh? I said it. Oh, yes. I, I think he's gone. But you, I said it too. I knew it. I knew he wouldn't last long. In fact, he will stay so long to die. Nevertheless, let's go see him. Tomorrow, we shall install our new Igwe. Yes. It's as the simple as that. The bottom line is that the white lion is dead. He's dead. <laughs> I know the advantage. It is now time for us to achieve our aim. Exactly. Eh? Chief Ako becomes a... Now a dead white liar. That is it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 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 you can know I am so confused. So, so confused. Open now. But now we all are confused here. See, Mioma slept at the palace last night. So let us all go there and find out the situation of things. 
So everyone is even watching the palace right now as I speak to you. So please, let's go to the palace. My friend, at this point, you need to be a man. You need to man up. And let us go to the palace and get your wife to be. Again now. How do you explain this to me? That in the whole of Obodoma kingdom, not even one person that is willing to give his or her kidney to the king. Why my fiance? My fiance has only but one kidney. Why her? Listen, you understand how you feel. Trust me, we do. But that is life for you. Kindness is a gift. And only few has it in life. everyone else. <laughs> Such a nice man. Where do I go? Where do I go from here? NGK own is finished. <laughs> 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 Give me magic 
for treatment. If not for this, this angel. Look at her. She is here! She's here with just one kidney. She chose to die to save a life. The life of a good man. She's supposed to be getting married today. Yes, she is supposed to be getting married today. Look at her husband today. The groom, his best man. All of them waiting for her. She went out of her way to mourn and weep for a glorious king who just passed away. Look at them. Shame! 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 Shame on you! Shame on all of you! Look at them. I am disappointed. Well, I believe Igwe, the late Igwe Ikemba, the white lion, should have believed by now that he has been feeding these masters. These masters! He has been feeding them. Look at them. He has been feeding people that are eager, desperate to send him to meet his ancestors. Hey, what do I know? I am just a woman. I, I am just a woman. It's very unfortunate that we have lost our Igwe. We are sad. We are very sad. A great Iroko has fallen, and the birds have scattered with a loud sound. He was a good man, a father, and a great king. <sighs> he had the interest of the people at heart. We cannot overemphasize that. It's all laid out and we have seen it all. But the truth is, life must go on. Hey! Igwe! Igwe! Hey! Death, why did you not take me instead of taking the good man away? What am I living for? Why did you take him away, dead? Hey! Um, my people, uh, what has happened has happened. Eh? Uh, though our Igwe, the white lion, is dead and gone. But we that are still alive will continue living. So, as the Ojiofo of this kingdom, Obodoma, I hereby confirm Chifaku here to become our next Igwe instead of uh, our dead Igwe. The white lion. Eh? Oh. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Um, so, oh no. Uh, let's go to the throne room and crown him immediately. Oh no. Mom. To the throne room. Hey. All of you are fools. All of you. All the cheers are fools. Disgrace to the color of your caps. The tradition of this land. Fools! Walk in there. Go to the throne. Let me see how he will walk up there and sit on that throne. Come on, more. Let me see. Let me know whether it is the drum that beats human or human that beats the drum. 
Hey. You! Ako, whatever you call yourself, you will never, never be the king of this kingdom. Never! No way! Yes! Ako, whatever they call you, you will never be the king of this kingdom. Mokawa! Let me warn you. Whatever antiques you come with, you will never rule this kingdom. Do not stand on the way of the gods. I am not standing in the way of the gods. It is your selfishness that is driving you. But let me tell you, if you know the amount of money you have collected from this fool, go and give it back to him. Because he will never be the king of this kingdom. How dare you? How dare you people challenge, challenge me? How dare you know? Don't worry. Look, oh no, let me tell you. You can never change the mind of the people who put over kingdom. You At all. Exactly. Over my dead body shall you rule this kingdom. You will never. You will never sit on that throne. Over your dead body. Okay then. We shall see. I will make you understand that I am fully prepared today. I am prepared. We shall see. This is my wonderful, wonderful husband. The new king of this kingdom. Sure. We, never walk. Sure. we came prepared. For your information. Just look at them. Look at all of them. Fools. Yes. I know that your mission is deadly. You have a deadly mission in this palace, you Princess Adenza. But I tell you this, you must regret all of this. You must regret Princess Adenza. Maka no kuko ana ha don't do to ono maka go no. A foul can swallow a needle, but will never live to boast of it. You. Who cares? You have fallen to the ground. You are underneath me. You are beneath me, my darling. Chief Aku here will be our next Igwe. Mom. Eche Akunawa. You will go crown him our next Igwe. Exactly. Time is ticking, and we must bury our dead. Sure, my people. What has happened has happened. Mm -hmm. We cannot die with the dead. Never. What has happened has happened. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, we will bury our late king, the white lion. Yes. As life continues going on. So... Eh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> The mouth that speak evil will speak good now. No, our king is alive. Our king is alive. Good people of Obodama. Let me make it clear that I am still very much alive, <laughs> hale, and hearty. However, I am a king who's been constantly accused of loving his people more than they love him. And so I decided to play this little prank on all of you just to see how far you can go for your dear king. Just to see how much sacrifice you're willing to make. Had I been sick, as claimed, all I needed from all of you standing here was just one kidney. Just one. But indeed I was surprised. 
by the turn of events. I don't think you know your subjects too well. They don't like you. Not even a single one of them. I know why I'm saying this repeatedly. They don't care about you. Even if you try hard, they only care about your money and what they want from you and nothing else. I'm on this earth to do right by people and care for my people. I'm not here to begin to see who likes me or who does not like me. Everyone cannot like you. But as long as I can do good for my people from my heart, I'm just fine. I challenge you to test their loyalty. Because it's heartbreaking to feed the python that will stink you to death at the end. I'm too sick to test anyone's loyalty. I have wisdom. I'm king and I know that he who has to feed a python would have to be very careful. I am good to my people. And that's all that matters to me. I dare say, I am too sick for this kind of conversation. I am sick. Very, very sick. Constantly, a daisy reminded me that I am not loved by my people. She constantly said to me, White lion, you feed pythons as your brothers. All these people do not love you as much as you love them. But I decided to take your advice. I give her the impression that truly I was ill. But I ask you all today, was she right or wrong? She might not be one of my favorite persons, but I dare to say that she has opened my eyes to the fact that truly I have fed pythons, loved enemies as family. I had everything. I had all the conversations in the palace. And to all the elders of my cabinet wanting to install Chief Ako as the new Igwe while I am still alive and breathing, I see all of you. Today I hereby expel all of you from my cabinet. <laughs> I said it. Oh, my great. I thank you so much for playing that dead star. Mana, please don't try it again. I always commit suicide on my way here. <laughs> but I said, one of the chairs must follow me if I have to die. <laughs> Indeed, your love is pure. Your love is true. Your love is deep. Your love is sincere. Miriam, you are my true subject. I saw everything, I heard everything, and I would not forget. Obina. My lord, get on your knees. Miriam, today, I bless the union between you and Obinna, the man that truly owns your heart. 
Yes. Women like you are rare to find. Your love for this man is indeed true. Your love for him is steadfast. Obina, you're a good man. And today I bless this union. Yes. Go ahead and get married. You have my support. I'll support you spiritually. I'll stand by you physically. I'll be with the both of you every step of the way as a king of Obodoma. I hereby gift you the sum of 200 million naira. Igwe! Plus a beautiful duplex in the United Kingdom. Igwe! One lion! Yes. Yes. My dear Juliana, come. The love of my youth. Stop crying. I should be the one crying because I know that I have hurt you so much. But today is not for tears, my darling. Today I appreciate you in front of everyone for being so steadfast. Thank you for loving me beyond my faults. Thank you for being very steadfast. In spite of myself, you held on and you believed that our love would stand the test of time. Because you are the one who sees the things that I cannot see and hears the things that I can't hear. It is very clear that I cannot rule Obodoma without you. And so I ask you, in the presence of good people here, Will you be my wife once again? Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> yes. 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 Father, why, why are you disturbed? What is the matter, Father? Talk to me. What is going on with you? The worst has happened. What happened? Please speak to me. Talk to me. What happened? I got a call from the presidency that I've been removed from office. Ah. I'm no longer the minister of petroleum and natural resources. Father, tell me you are joking. This is not true, right? I wish I can say that, my daughter. Everything is gone. I've lost everything. King Ikimba has finished me. He has ruined my life. Did I hear you say King Ikimba? What did he do? I have it on good authority that he was responsible for my removal. He called the presidency. That young man is wicked. He's evil. Father, you can't blame him. You caused it. I warned you. Remember? I did. I told you to give King Ikemba what is due to him and his kingdom. But you refused. You insisted. Taking more than half of what the federal government allocated to them for the oil that was found in their land. Hmm? <laughs> so why are you blaming me now? All I did, I did because of you. Oh, Father, please. You didn't do this because of me. Huh? You never did. It is because of your own selfishness. Yes. 
how you pushed me to that kingdom with all my beauty and brain to be insulted, humiliated by King Ikemba. Oh, I regret listening to you. In fact, I regret having you as my father. You are evil. Evil man. Excuse me. I finished. Generous King Guy, but you don't know when you're there, no one. If I get in, no one can't. And the love of the man, if we get my one, the white lion, me got my best body, Sally, Sally. A chef who give a chef who give a the best for money. Uh, Maka wani, woke be there. Woke be there. He's helping the people. Man of good will, he wire. He you know the acts for the world. Maka wani, but you can show. But you can show. Only when they see more be sally sally. A chef who give a chef who give a the best for money. Maka wani, woke be there. Woke be there. He's helping the people. Man of good will, he wire. You know the acts for the world. Maka wani, but you can show. Only when they see more be sally sally. A chef who give a. He not the best for money But a one, what can be there? He's helping the people Man of good will, he want you He not the axe for the reward But a one, but you can show You are pure in heart Love by many, if I see what I do, my love go give a bunny rule. Our kingdom is blessed, having you as our king. Your kingship has touched everyone's life.